Hey guys, welcome to Brighter Wheel. Today we are going to learn how we can send message from one operating system to different operating system using the Python programming. In this demonstration, I am going to use UDP protocol. So what is UDP? UDP is User Datagram Protocol is a communication protocol used across the internet for especially time sensitive transmission such as video playback or DNS lookups. It speeds up the communication but there may be a chance of losing the packets. I think now you have some idea about the UDP. Now let's jump right into the code. To do this practical I am going to use Red Hat as the operating system. You can use any of the operating system you want. Uh, the only prerequisite is you must have a python3 interpreter how to check simply command type command python3 okay so here you can see that i have python 3.6.8 version let me exit from this and clear this okay now to write the program i am going to create a directory first mkdir for a space okay so in this work space we will write our, our code there is nothing in this okay let me clear till now okay okay so to write the server program uh, i'm going to use a text editor named as gedit okay and to give the file name i'm using server.py okay so here is my text editor now let's write our program this networking protocols comes under a library socket so i'm going to use import socket library inside this socket library i have socket sorry sock dj ram as a keyword for the udp protocol so i am going to use it as my p okay and for the uh, let me give a comment for this for udp protocol okay and i'm going to use ip ipv4 so for ipv4 i'm going to use a variable afn and inside the socket we have af inet okay now to make the socket of both i'm going to use a variable s and inside the socket i have socket function sorry socket function and afn ipv4 and my p as UDP protocol now once the socket is established okay I need a server IP so I'm going to use IP variable and save the server IP but I don't know the server IP so how to check let me quickly go to my terminal open a new window and type here if config as my command to know the IP here I have ENP0S3 as my network card and the IP is 192.168.43.57 ok let's close this and come back to here and let's quickly type 192.168.43.57 ok as my server IP now I will need a port so I'm using a variable port and here I'm going to number 1234 as my port number okay basically you can give uh, any number between 0 to 65353 as your port number but there might be some port number that will be busy in some program so better to use this 1234 in my case it is free and haven't used in any other places so now once we have IP and port let's bind this this bind function takes a tuple so i'm using a tuple 
and here I'm going in my I and port number okay now once this is done we are ready to receive our messages from the client so let me write the receive function as dot recv sorry recv from and here i am giving 1024 as the byte size of that message this is more than enough for our program and i'm going to save this in a variable x okay uh, one more thing i want this program to run in finite time so that i can receive multiple messages so i'm using while true okay now let's give some indent one two three four okay one two three four and once i received this i received some information in the x now what i want to extract from the x i want a client ip so i'm using cip as my variable and x10 this will provide me the client ip and for the rest of messages i'm using res x0 okay so whatever the uh, client is sending that will be in encoded format so firstly i have to decode that and then save that to res variable okay now once this once the, we receive the message we need to print but uh, i want to add a condition where we can actually exit from this infinite loop so i am writing a condition if whatever the message we get this country this is string okay once this string is inside this message one two three four okay let's just print what print print that exiting the program and simply exit from this program how does it okay break now if there is nothing like exit so write a else two three four okay now let's print and what print client ip okay uh, colon and what is the message client is sending to us so that's all our server program is ready now let's save this I save this let me close this now I will go to my client program it is my client server and type in my password here okay here is my client same I am going to create a directory mkdir work space okay now inside that directory I have no files let me clear this okay now let me write gedit client dot py okay this file is also somewhere similar to our server program so i'm writing this quickly first we need a library socket so import socket and i'm going to create a socket as using the library socket inside the function socket and here for the ipv4 i'm going to use socket dot af underscore unnet okay and for udp i have socket dot soc underscore dj ram okay that's all the socket is created now all we need a server ip so s ip and server ip is 192.168.43.57 i guess and what is the port number we have given port number as 1234 use the same port number as we have given in the server so that we can connect easily so to connect both i am going to use s dot connect as my function and whatever the sip 
sorry this connect function also takes a tuple so i'm going to use this side and port number okay now once this is connected i want to print a connection confirmation so here i'm using print function and writing like connection is established okay i guess i am writing this now i'm going to give some new line for that now we can write our sending message program okay so for that i am going to use a loop to send multiple message while true one two three four okay now to send the message firstly we want to give a prompt for the user to enter some string that is message i'm going to save that in message variable and in for input i'm using input function enter the message okay i'm also adding a condition like exit for the for closing the program okay if you enter exit this will close the program that's all yes one two three four we need to okay now we need to decode oh sorry encode our message for that i am using str dot encode what to encode our message okay once the message is encoded we want to send that for that i am using s dot send function and what to send send our message okay one two three four okay now we add to uh, a condition for the closing program if whatever the client is sorry if whatever the client is written in the message decode that and if decoded message is somewhere equal to exit simply what the two three four one two three four okay simply write a print statement inside the print statement write something like exiting the program and one two three four and break from this okay that's all i think let's quickly save this this client done i guess simply close this let's come to our server let me quickly run the server file I have ls command to list yeah we have a server dot y okay let's run this using python 3 guess and server dot py okay okay this is it let's come to our client and we need to run this client dot py so how to run same python 3 and client dot py okay connection is established okay enter the message exit for closing the program so i am using the message hello and you can clearly see that there is a hello message i am going to use hi oh sorry inside this i am using hi how are you and you can clearly see that there is a message in server.py let me type exit and you can clearly see that exiting the program.